Yes, my peoples, it's T. And yes, I'm back with another Apprentice reaction. My thoughts, my views, and this is week six. Let's get it. So yeah, I'm gonna get straight into this one. Um, yeah, Apprentice, man, Apprentice. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm not feeling the program this series. I'm not feeling it, but we get to that later. So this week, during week six, they had a corporate away day. Um, they had, which is a 700 million pound market. Who knew, who knew that company spent so much money on days out um, for their clients essentially. But anyway, um, team Apex, Rochelle put herself forward to be the PM. Avi also did too, but as usual, he doesn't sound very convincing. So in the end, everybody chose Rochelle to be the PM. Um, and then in the ever team, team affinity, um, the former flight attendant in Victoria, she put herself forward as the PM, as she has experience with this apparently. Um, so let's see if she can perform um, to all the gas that she laid out um, to the rest of her teammates. Um, so they had different choices. They could go luxury, they could go medium, they could go l l low end. Um, and Victoria did choose the luxury element of things and they chose a super yacht, etc., etc. Rochelle went medium and chose a dessert vibe um, where they had some sort of coffee excursion. Um, they didn't choose the drums and dancing, which to me sounds a little, you know, more interesting. Um, the coffee side sounds a little bit boring um but um but with cost in mind maybe work out maybe it will work out um victoria again going very upper end she chose the dj masterclass um but the price tag for that was sky high sky high but she as she keeps saying throughout the whole show she's confident that the ballers of dubai will spend the money um let's see if she's right um and then brad joe danny was on the hospitality hospitality team and then we had Avi, Simba and Rochelle on the corporate team in Team Apex um, or was it Team FFM? I may have confused the teams around here the team names either way you don't matter you know what I'm talking about um, <laughs> um, and yeah the, the, there was lots of discussions and negotiations around pricing and stuff and essentially um, of course the, the team with Rochelle they were getting things quite cheap to be fair as they should have um, by choosing a lower end you know, excursion or lower end activity day out um, for clients. Um, but they did also promise the client a very high end and luxurious um, activity and event, which they obviously can't deliver at the price point they're going in into. Um, and yeah, basically, I don't know why Victoria just assumes that she thinks Dubai, cha-ching, everything is just, everybody's gonna just spend, spend, spend. Um, that wasn't quite the case and they 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 negotiated some some kind of low low figures with the client to be fair not as high as they expected actually i think it was actually half of what they expected so not great there not great there and they promised again they'll provide luxury so they better hope to get no refunds which i'm sure they will because they can't deliver on on their on their promise essentially um and the um the beauty the beauty corporate clients did mention something very important which is exactly what i was thinking with people this victoria completely is focusing completely on luxury 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 spend money that client clearly said it said yo these days out are not about the luxury we don't care about that the clients don't need that they can pay for that in their own money in their own time this is the whole purpose of these days out as a corporate client is about building a team team bonding, everybody getting together, which helps them ultimately perform better in their job um, as a collective. So yeah, it's um, a lot of the kind of point of this day out was lost. It's not about having, f well, it's about having fun, but it's not all about having fun and, and luxuriousness. It's about actually building a bond with your, with your workmates, your colleagues, essentially. So that was lost on a lot of people there. Um, but yeah, lots of costs involved. Um, I'm not even gonna go through all the costs because I'm sure you, you watched the episode by now. Um, but um, but Danny Danny added a second activity, um, which I think would be a good idea. Although it's more expensive and more cost, it could be a good idea because just having the coffee, just having coffee activity, 
dead. You need to have something else to go with that. And she added a bread making thing and negotiated a good price. The bread making thing is actually something that's quite team bonding. You're working together, you're making bread with your colleagues. So that's more of an experience as opposed to just having fun individually. Um, the DJ thing was expensive. Four hours is not necessary. Um, so I don't know what they was thinking there, but Mark, Mark and Cole on that on that sub team, very poor, very very poor decisions there. Um, um, but then another thing that we did notice is the, the bread and the coffee were the same price as the drum, so they could have actually put, had the drum element in the first place. But I think the bread making is more involved and more team building anyway than just watching some people play drums and dance, which is obviously more exciting anyway. But yeah. Now, the luxurious team, obviously Victoria's team, um, <laughs> they was getting tired on the jet skis. Now, obviously, I love doing jet skis. Every time I go abroad, I'll make sure I, I try and hunt out the jet skis. Um, and trust me, after about after about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you, to, to be fair, it gets tiring because you have to hold on. You know, there's waves. It gets tiring. It's fun, but it does get tiring. So I'm not surprised. Um, it looks like they had them out there in the water for ages, talking about quizzes and stuff and shouting over a megaphone. That don't sound fun to me. Um... And Avi, 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 every week I say this, but he's so uninspiring, so patronising, and he talks like a child. He talks like a child. As to, uh, How is he still in this process? Um, Bradley and Danny did have some, in the sub-team, they did have some good ideas, to be fair. They was actually thinking about, you know, how to present the food, how to do this, how to do that. But Joel, Joel, the same, seemed very out of his depth this week, I'm not going to lie. Um, and um, wow, we... You're in the middle of the dessert um, and there's no vegetarian options. They didn't think about any dietary needs at all. And the food looks super, super poor. Burnt the food. Burnt the food. Luxurious where? Luxurious what? Paying money for this. Um, and one of the girls had like seasickness on the boat. I thought she was going to literally throw up in the actual food. But she piled through. She piled through. Um, and Danny was a saviour. To be fair, Danny has been, um, even though this series has been poor, Danny every week, to be fair, seems to show some elements of, of being quite a strong, a strong, you know, contestant. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> which is not hard in this, in, in, in this series so far. But yeah, she was good with the facts and the running of the team building exercise. Um, but the water and the hunger situation could definitely cost them because, wow, you're in the, you're in the, desert you need water you need food what is this about it's meant to be an, an activity that's the food and water is one thing you should not scrimp on at all people always need to eat and drink so that's most important um also what the hell happened to reese i didn't even notice he wasn't there and I, I didn't notice he wasn't there until alan sugar said something um i wonder why he couldn't be involved like was he sick is something happened at home or was he not allowed in Dubai? Does he have a criminal record? I, I, who knows? I don't know. Like, I'm very intrigued because now he's completely out of the process too. Like, yeah, mad, mad. And um, on a side note, Avi is definitely special. He's definitely special. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, also, Alan Sugar, again, in the boardroom, he mentioned um, Sir Hale. Again, I did not see him this episode. I did. I don't know if I'm just not paying attention, but I did not see Zahel this episode again until Alan Sugar said his name in the boardroom. I was like, oh, oh yeah. I forgot about this guy. What did he do? <laughs> Whose team is he on? Um, so, yeah, he's coasting through. He is coasting through. Um, but, yeah, Team Apex with loads of refunds, 20% to being fat refunds. And they had a profit of fifth, £555 in the end. Um, and then Affinity... Also had loads of refunds. They had 60% worth of refunds and with £436 worth of profit. Now, that means that Apex won. But again, this has been such a poor, poor, poor week. Literally, everyone was rubbish. This series has got to be the worst series I've seen of The Apprentice. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, but again, it just goes to show that if you try to be cheap you end up with less profits in the end. If you try to be too cheap, it ends up worse. People want quality. People, you know, want to spend their money and get a return on their investment. So as the old saying goes, you need to spend money to make money. 
So don't be cheap. Spend a little more, and then you might get a little more. It's a it's a law of business, man. Um, but anyway, also, despite the sixty percent refunds um, that Affinity got, they only lost by a hundred pound difference. So that goes to show how rubbish the ever team was as well. In my opinion, they all should come back into the boardroom because they both, in my mind, they both lost. <laughs> Terrible, absolutely poor, poor week. It's like, and the thing is, every week I keep saying this has been a, this has been such a poor week. But it actually gets worse each week. I just, I just can't believe it. I don't know where they found these people. Even I can do better without trying. Um, so yeah, honestly, I know I said at the start, but honestly, I'm becoming very tired of this series. Um, if I'm being completely honest, <clears throat> very tired of this series. Um, I actually don't even like press the, you know, the, sh the button to watch the show with excitement anymore. I'm like, oh, what's going to happen this week? Um, so yeah, but next time we have a children's lunch box design task so let's see how that goes hopefully we get a better week now we're getting down to less people there's only 10 people left now so let's see what happens but yeah that was my thoughts on the apprentice this week week six let me know in the comments below what you think of this week and was it the right choice that um the person who went home which i didn't mention actually was joe joe was the one to actually leave um i knew instantly that joe was as soon as as soon as rochelle brought back simba and joe instantly i said joe's gone um because simba actually does get involved in things um and rochelle she's been uh, yeah it's whatever as well um but yeah i don't even know what to say because there was about joe because there was definitely worse people in the process um than all the three that were in the boardroom there's definitely worse people in the process say hell he's not existent avi is non-existent and some other poor people as well so yeah anyway let me know in the comments what you think um but yeah that was week six of the apprentice um catch me on week seven and like comment subscribe and all of that jazz let's get it